Gemini. I'm here to give you a wild card read straight from the hip with lots of lip. And I was called to work with the Angel Tarot for you today. So those of you who feel a connection to the angelic realm may be noticing some synchronicities picking up in your life. You might be having some kind of faded encounters. Um, you might be having people coming into your life at this time that just feel like they're heaven sent. You know, it, there's this sort of kismet quality or like it's meant to be. There's an interesting way that you cross paths. And then when you find out the similarities you share, it's sort of like it blows your mind a little bit. Okay, there's this. There's this piece about sometimes angels come in the form of, you know, those you least suspect, all right? So you might be encountering some angels in your day-to-day -day experiences. There might be a little bit of divine play happening in your life, all right? You might be starting to feel connection with the angels. All of this coming in for you right off the bat. This is for any strong Gemini placement. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Mercury, Mars, Saturn, Pluto, or if you have a prominent placement in the third house, or if you are Sagittarius rising, that may make you a Gemini descendant. And you might find a lot of, hmm, that's interesting, resolute. I meant to say resonance, but the first thing I heard was resignation and then resolution. Interesting. Resignation with the message? Are you receiving word of something that, you know, you're sort of just like coming to a place of resignation with it? That's the solution is to just come to a place of acceptance with it. Maybe you are making a resolution with yourself to just kind of like let something go. Stop struggling with something so much. Interesting. You might be calling on... A little heavenly help for this you know maybe you're sending up some prayers maybe you're connecting with the angelic realm maybe there is somebody that has passed on that you still feel very connected to or this kind of transitionary process is around you on some level and so it's just making things feel a little bit more close to that that spiritual realm you know what i'm saying i think you're getting in touch with some soul stuff now it's interesting the way that came in huh okay so i do feel like there's some kind of message coming in six of pentacles in reverse all right so there's something here that feels like it's a bit much to take on says divine grace cures rage and pestilence absolves the guilty sim reverse though maybe there's something here that you feel guilty about you know you feel guilty about letting go and yet you know you need to let go because there's something here that that isn't quite healthy there's something that needs to be transformed in a situation and it's not easy for you to let go. And you're calling on some kind of grace or strength in this process, okay? There's something about you can't give to this anymore. Okay, give me some more information about this. This could be in relation to a king of swords. You arrived at some truth. You might have had to separate a little bit of your, um, your emotions from just looking at something with a clear head and making a very objective decision here. And very decisive, too, with the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a fellow um, a fellow air sign energy or an ex or somebody who's soon to be an ex. A connection that you're choosing to kind of end, okay? This could just be that you are really ready to, you know, take an action that you know will protect you from some kind of... I got, like... It feels like something destructive, to be honest with you. There's some truth you're arriving at. There's something you're cutting off. You know you need to cut this off. It's requiring strength in order to cut it off. Could be in relation to an ex. It could be in relation to a relationship where, it, and that doesn't have to be romantic. It can be in a friendship. It can be a relationship to, you know, a certain habit you have, a certain 
uh, a certain kind of like lifestyle choice. It can be a connection to um, anything that is in some way kind of courting trouble. It feels destructive. It feels like there's sort of a way that you can prevent a tower from falling is what I got. And it's by really, you know, acting on your truth, what you know to be true, what you know needs to change. This is something maybe it hasn't been easy for you to come to terms with. It hasn't been easy for you to look at. It hasn't been easy for you to accept. I do feel like there's some kind of strength, you know, that is required in order to deal with this. I also feel like your spirit team or what makes you feel connected on a soul level is front and center uh, providing support right now in this transition. You might be dealing with a transition, a major transition. You could have been dealing with somebody who is about to, to transition or has already transitioned and you're processing this. There's something that you're doing here though that's so, so important and it's leading to some kind of protection from what could be really destructive in this situation. It's like a last minute save, all right? There's a last minute save here. This bringing transformation in a situation. Let me get some more details about this for you, Gemini. I, I feel like a lot of tripping up over words um, as I'm doing your read, which is really interesting here. Um, so I feel like maybe there is a tripping up over words. Maybe when you get this message, it almost like it takes the words out of your mouth. Like you feel a little speechless about this. Five of Pentacles coming in here. Patience reveals secrets of nature. Spreads knowledge. Okay. There's some kind of loss here or something's potentially on the table to be lost. If there's not some kind of truth that's acted on, if there's not something that could lead to a destructive element taking root to be cut out at the root. Like, I really got this here. This is something that's really burdensome with the Ten of Wands. There's some kind of communication coming in around this. All right. Comes in with the Eight of Swords to death. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of loss here that's related to something that is coming to an end. And it's sort of like you've been trying to like breathe new life into this thing. You've been working really hard to try to turn something around. And there's something about needing to sort of free yourself from some kind of illusion. I feel like, you know, your attention's being drawn here. It's being drawn here uh, by, you know, some kind of like, it feels like a spiritual force. You know what I'm saying? There's like, there's some kind of recognition here that you need support to change something. There's something you need to see here. It's, it's also, there's a little piece here about um, getting beyond the ego. And when I say getting beyond the ego, I mean getting beyond the ego in such a way of like, trying so hard to get a handle on something or control something that it's just like it's kind of like out of your hands and there's also a need here to act with a certain sense of timeliness there's something very burdensome here that needs to be shed and in shedding this it brings balance to a situation and I feel like there's this message coming in that kicks this off it's highlighting something to you there's an ending, you know, that you're facing here and you're really worried about this ending. You're stressed about this ending. There's a great sense of loss around it, but there's something you don't see here. And that's that there's some kind of renewal on the other side of this. And you may be dealing with somebody who is facing some kind of serious loss. Maybe they're in some kind of trouble. I could see this trouble coming through in a couple different ways. I could see it as, you know, legal trouble, you know, um, getting caught up in some way. 
maybe because of some kind of, you know, behavior that's destructive. You know, there, there's a way to kind of like overcome this challenge though, but it does involve some kind of accountability. I see that. In another case, um, it could be an issue of somebody really like, it looks like, you know, they're on their way out or there's some kind of challenge with their health. Um, it's very stressful. You're trying to find something that will help them. You, there's been many different approaches to this health condition and things just continue to sort of like degrade in this regard. And there's like some kind of like last minute save here that actually uh, turns things around and there's some kind of renewal renewal of health. So if you've been really feeling burdened because you're stressed out about somebody who's been sick, could be an ex you've been worried about, or it could be an air sign energy, somebody with a strong air sign placement in their chart. It could be you. You could have been dealing with a health challenge. Uh-huh. Or, you know, it could be, um, you know, somebody that you're dealing with I feel like they have a strong air sign placement in their chart where this person is very cerebral or it could be there's something that is affecting, you know, I think cerebral, I think the brain, you know, it could be there's some kind of addiction. It could be that there's some kind of um, something they're struggling with mentally. You know, there could be some kind of mental health issue the person is struggling with. This could also be, um, you know, a physical health challenge um, and you've just really been in your head about this. Maybe you've been doing a lot of research. You've been trying to figure out the best way to approach this, the best remedy. You've been trying to get somebody some help in this situation. And I think you've been feeling really stuck or like you haven't had the answers. There's been a lot of concern around this situation and there's some kind of message coming in it's going to cause you to really take action here. Okay. Let's see what's going on here with this. What, what is this about? Uh, what's this about angels? What is this message that's coming in? What, what is the nature of this message coming in? Page of Pentacles, nine of cups. Ooh, it's a breakthrough. Okay. It's a tangible way to move forward. All right. It's a new direction to pursue in addressing this issue that actually, it's like, it's getting news that something is actually beneficial. It's working because we have here with the nine of cups, it says healing preserves health and cures diseases. So I think you're getting wind of something that gives you a new direction ahead with this issue. Okay. And something's being resolved here. Somebody's healing. Okay. So this is like, if there's been a long-term health condition, I could see it as like maybe somebody's finally moving forward into recovery. It could also be that um, there's some kind of um, turnaround in somebody's behavior. You know, maybe there was just like they, they had an unhealthy behavior that kept landing them in hot water. I'm getting like legally like this could be somebody who continually like, you know, they just keep getting locked up. You know, they get used to this kind of lifestyle, you know, and, and then they, they take accountability. They turn things around. This is somebody's like, somebody's getting to the other side of something that was really, um, it felt like a repetitive cycle. It felt like there was no way out of it. It was very stressful. There's been a lot of concern about this. How do we move this forward? You know? What's the resolution? What's the solution here? There might have been a lot of prayer sent up about this. A lot of soul searching around this. This, I mean, this could even mean, you know, like somebody had received a really serious diagnosis, something like this. And it's it's been weighing heavy. There's a way forward here. And there's some kind of uh, resolution. Maybe right as a, at a time when you kind of like given up. It's interesting I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally say this, but what it's coming through is kind of like, it's like a Hail Mary moment, man. It feels like a bit of a miracle, to be honest with you. It feels like hope in a hopeless situation. I don't know why I thought that. 
Uh, give me, give me some more information about this angel. So I'm going to do a cut of the deck and then I want to, um, pull out, um, maybe some oracles on this. Okay. What is this? Queen of cups in reverse temperance in reverse. <sighs> yeah. I feel like this is something that's been causing a lot of grief. Could be in connection to a water sign, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius rising. There, there was something that was really affected in this situation. There was a re relationship that was really affected uh, in this situation. Somebody that you have a great love for, I feel, you know, a lot of love for. There's some kind of falling out here and something was really out of balance and maybe you didn't know what was out of balance. It could be that the, somebody was struggling with a health issue, that somebody's been struggling with a mental health issue. Somebody has been struggling with, um, mm, you know, I, I'm just going to bring it in. It's what's coming in. So I'm going to bring it in. Okay. It could have something to do with nurturing though for this to come in but I'm getting breast cancer like this is coming in it's interesting too it's almost like the source of what drove apart was this illness or this crisis I just saw like a little flash of light to the side. So I feel like you got, you know, somebody, somebody who has passed on is very close to you at this time. And I feel like you feel very close to them, maybe because of an experience that's being mirrored, you know, in your present circumstances is really reminding you of this person. It could be there was a similar um, shared health condition or something along these lines. And this is why it's really, it's been throwing you out of balance, I feel. There's been something that's been really hard to find a balancing point with in your heart in this situation. If there's been a falling out with somebody, I feel like, ironically, there is a coming back together and there is a healing that happens because there's been some kind of health problem, health challenge, and now... There's actually a way forward to resolution in this situation because this health issue is being addressed. Something is being taken accountability for here. There's a new course of action as demonstrated with the page of pentacles. There's a way forward here. I got earth sign energy on the board, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I got water sign energy on the board. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I got Sagittarius here. I got a couple Scorpio references. Actually, let's let us know we're dealing with issues of transformation in this situation. Where loss was anticipated. There's something happening here that's bringing about a renewal. It looks like it's in relation to like some kind of serious health issue. And it's being turned around. There's a way forward to recovery. Whether that's somebody's been struggling with like mental health issues or somebody has been struggling with a physical health issue that perhaps was thought to be terminal. You know, there's something about this that there's there's a way through. There's unexpected news. And it's because there's the ending of one way of addressing this matter and approaching it in a brand new way. It's informed though. You're getting some kind of message, some piece of information that's highlighting a new way forward. And this simultaneously is bringing a healing in a connection where there was like, there was a parting of ways. I feel because there was like people were of two different minds about the best way to proceed with something or there was some kind of argument, some kind of falling out. And in some cases you're dealing with an ex, you know, somebody you've been separated from, or it could be this person's ex and it caused, you know, some kind of turmoil within your relationship. There's some kind of healing happening here and there's a way forward. There's a turnaround. It feels a little bit miraculous, but I do feel like you got outside help here. You got spiritual help. 
in this matter. So I'm going to do a cut the deck here, all right? And then we're going to pull out an oracle card here. Five of Swords, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. Yeah, I feel like you feel with the Five of Swords that just something just doesn't, it doesn't feel fair. It doesn't feel right, you know? And there might be something that you're holding on to, too. You know, if you're dealing with somebody that is uh, struggling with an illness or has been dealing with some kind of challenge, maybe there were hardships that came about in, you know, the situation. It drove a wedge between you and this person. It might be getting you thinking about things that, you know, you need to say. Things you need to say that you didn't say, but it could be directly related to it mirroring some experience you had with somebody you've already lost, a loved one that may actually be very close to you um, at this time in spirit, okay? I also feel like maybe you're concerned that the situation's a lot worse than the person has been letting on to you. You might have been doing your own digging, you know? You might feel like this person's trying to spare you from pain and so they're withholding certain information from you. You might do a little digging because you really have the desire to know, you know. You you feel like this person often bears a lot, you know, to be the strong one or keep everything together and you feel like, you know, it's almost a betrayal because you want to be able to support this person. You want to be able to be there for them. And there's also this piece about, you know, wanting to like balance the scales, make things right with judgment. I do feel like where something had like come to an end and something felt like an injustice or it felt like a betrayal or there's some sense of guilt here. It doesn't feel right, especially because now there's an understanding of what kind of drove everything off the rails. And I feel like there's some kind of illness or some kind of addiction, there's something here that's been a challenge and somebody is actually uh, heading in a direction of taking some course of action, some treatment, entering into some recovery, um, finding a new solution, you know, for whatever illness they were struggling with that actually allows things to kind of become more, more evident in this situation, like make more sense of what has been going on here. And there's also sort of a working through all the complicated emotions surrounding this. Feelings of guilt, feelings of betrayal, okay? And there's a balance found here and there's a renewal. Like something that was unhealthy is healing. And it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we do have uh, some Libra energy on the board here with judgment coming in there, all right? I also feel it's south node work. You know, when we're looking at the south node, we are looking at um, karmic cycles, uh, things that travel in loops and spirals, something that's closing so there can be like a rebirth energy, something new beginning. And, um, oh, interesting. We got half these cards fa facing upright and half of these cards facing down. Um, I'm just going to get you an oracle card because I feel really called to with your particular read here. I may be giving you a little extra time, but this, I don't know, this message feels like it has a lot of significance and it's important to hold the right space for it. So I want to give you just like a little supportive message, spiritual message um, here from the oracles to just give a little guidance. Uh, for some of you, this is not upon you yet, okay? It's something up around the bend. All right, so let's see here. Spiritual guidance, please, coming through in this situation that will support Gemini in dealing with this. What they need to know, the guidance they need at this time to help move things forward in this situation and toward a re resolution, a renewal, a healing. Okay, and I'm just going to do a cut of the deck and we'll take this top card on the right. And we got a Rebel's Oracle here. And it says, be the hunter, not the hunted. Okay, so I do feel like this is about you going out and seeking the knowledge you need, not waiting for it to just suddenly find you. You know, I do feel like you're looking into something where 
there's a lot that's unclear. You know, a lot is kind of happening in the dark in this situation. You know that. You know that there's something that's being kept from you. There's something that's being hidden. And you might feel like somebody's holding it in because they're trying to put on, you know, a strong front or they don't really want to reveal, you know, everything that's going on here. And yet you feel very called to kind of like do something about this, look into this matter more deeply and figure out what's really going on here before you suddenly just hear some news. Maybe you have a feeling like maybe you're worried that something really bad will happen and you feel this sense of kind of like concern around a situation. You don't want to just leave it be. You don't want this person just, you know, keeping quiet, you know, because they always feel like they have to be the strong one here. There's something about you're really wanting to show up for this person, even if you've been at odds with this person, even if you've had challenges with each other. There is sort of a little bit of a hint here that there's been like maybe some separation or maybe some kind of falling out, but you're trying to get to the truth of a matter. So um, you can get on top of this, you know? You don't want to be caught unaware. What's on the other side here? Pearl of Sharrow. Yes. Ooh, I love this. You see here, there's this eye of Shiva here. Creative energy, destructive energy, two sides of one coin. And I feel like this is what you are trying to get beyond. You know, there's some kind of destructive element at work here. I think it has something to do with what's hidden and you just need a truth to be exposed so you can come through and bring the support that's needed that brings healing and resolution in this situation. And I do feel like this is in process and you're going to come across some pearl wisdom, like where you look for the truth, you're going to find it. All right. And it's going to give you a way to move forward. And this has very serpentine energy to me, um, this figure here. So I do feel like there's something here that you're going to transform and it's through arriving at what is really the poison in this situation, whether the root of the illness is in addiction, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you're arriving at what that is. And it's through arriving that at that point of what needs transformation in this situation and looking it directly in the eye, like taking it on that you're able to arrive at the cure. There's something here that's being brought from the brink of darkness and allows you to actually recover what could have been lost if you didn't have the courage to peer there.